Welcome to the first video course in this series on Bitcoin. This video will focus on how Bitcoin came to be and explain how it is relevant to trading. Bitcoin was initialized as a solution to the corrupt financial system. The white paper described a better form of money that was decentralized and more secure than anything we knew till then. The code was distributed in open source format for everyone to read, with its author staying anonymous. By enabling everybody to have oversight over transactions, governments are unable to crack down on the system. The white paper fell into the hands of some geeks and opposers of the current financial system. The need for decentralization and cheap borderless transactions were the reason for some early adopters to dive into the rabbit hole called blockchain. Understanding the power that blockchain technology brings forward, that group was dedicated to spreading the word. The internet started getting infected by this new form of money. One that was secure, decentralized and even programmable. The first actual use cases for Bitcoin transactions were the purchase of online goods. The most famous story is of course the one about the Silk Road, a website where you could buy just about anything illegal with Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies as a payment method. However, many forget the number of early adopters that come from the game Magic the Gathering. The first big exchange Mt. Gox was named after the card game, it stands for Magic, the Gathering Online Exchange. The Japanese exchange closed in 2014 and took 850,000 BTC from their customers. The number of Bitcoin seized from the Silk Road was 70,000, significantly less than Mt. Gox took, showing the size of the Mt. Gox affair and the relevance of the early adopters that used Mt. Gox. With the supply of Bitcoin capped at a limit of 21 million and about 19 million circulating, there are not many coins left for grabs. The Bitcoin algorithm processes one block every approximately 10 minutes, and the reward for the miners per block halves after every 210,000 blocks. To adjust for an increase in computing power securing the Bitcoin blockchain, it adapts the so-called difficulty rate to increase and decrease accordingly, this keeps the process synchronized. In the current stage, the reward per block is 6.25 Bitcoin and will reach a total supply of 19.7 million Bitcoins at the end of this phase meaning that from 2024 to 2140, there will only be 1.31 million bitcoins distributed. In other words, 93.75% of all bitcoins will have been created when the fourth halving occurs in 2024. The large holders were early believers of the technology and early infrastructure developers. Today there is demand from all sectors. The recent move of Elon Musk could set a trend. If corporations and hedge funds start investing in Bitcoin, the value still has a huge room to grow. The developers are trying to upgrade Bitcoin to also be able to facilitate payments and microtransactions. As Bitcoin becomes a visible part of the $900 trillion worth global financial assets, one could calculate that if Bitcoin were to become worth 5% of this, a single Bitcoin would be valued at 2 million. Currently, the transaction fees are too high to buy a consumer good like a cup of coffee. The Lightning Network should be the solution to this problem. Knowing that yearly we manufacture 64 million new consumer cars and an average price per car of $21,000, if all car manufacturers were to hold the Bitcoin they receive from car sales, based on a Bitcoin price of $42,000 there would be a shortage in less than a year. Even if the total Bitcoin supply would be spent on cars. This was the introduction course. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.